Hi everyone and welcome to another card creation for the Jolly Holiday collection for Catherine Pooler. This is such a fun collection and I had so much fun trying out this new technique. I haven't done it for a while um, so it was great to capture it on a quick tutorial here today. So what I call this technique is basically a faux shadow embossed technique where you I've stamped with an ink first, a coloured ink, and then I've re-stamped it with a slight um, offset to get a shadow but with heat embossing. I love this effect. It's really great for mass production and to create some panels ready to go particularly with the new caroling sentiment stamp set. It has a sentiment as well as an image all in one. So I've stamped with the Cranberry Fizz. I didn't capture it on um, the tutorial here and I'm just making sure because I used a red ink. I'm cleaning my actual stamp so well and I've got a it's like a microfiber type of cloth then what I'm doing and this is all in the misty so if I feel like I didn't ink it properly or I've missed a spot I can restamp in the same section so what I've done is I've peeled that off and I'm slightly offsetting it and it's about one mil offset so it's not very very um it, it's you know it, you can still read it and it still looks great and it still remains that effective look that I was achieving now I've got wow embossing powder ultra slow drying ink here this is a really great ink for heat embossing and what I'm going to do is just using my misty stamp that on an offset and then once I finish that I'm actually going to use copy paper to capture the embossing powder that I'm pouring all over this panel and to funnel it back into my jar. Once I've done that and flicked off any excess, I funnel it back in. And you can already see without heat embossing how offset that is. It almost looks like, you know, those, those 3D images. It's awesome. Once heat set, it really can see, you can really see the inked shadow behind that heat embossed panel. Today I'm making a really easy card. It is not hard at all. Anyone can do this. Um, and I just thought I'd show you this cool technique that I've been playing with for my Christmas cards. Now I'm gonna heat set it with heat setting two with my wow heat embossing tool. And check it out. I absolutely love it. I love that metallic copper. I've also got this set of dies um, and I'm going to use the scalloped rectangle. All the, um, stamp sets and dies and products is going to be listed in the link below. I will put a link product list in the description. Mm. Now, so in this collection, it comes with an awesome set of paper that coordinates with not only the ink pads, um, but with the stamp sets as well. I was actually really indecisive um, about choosing papers for this card. I ended up sticking with the candy stripes and I found this matte uh, this rose gold matted foil card stock which I absolutely love and I thought it matched and coordinated really well with the copper embossing powder and so I have foam mounted that top panel and just then adhere it with my express it tape runner here um, this tape runner is easily accessible here in Australia so that's why I use it um, and it's been really convenient for card making and really this is a simple card. All I'm going to do now is add the sequins and this is the mistletoe collection and to adhere it down I'm going to use my Barely Arts. I'm using a fine tip. It comes with a couple of different types of tips plus a like a closure as well for the glue so you don't clog it up and a pin. It's really great. Highly recommend it. This has been my go-to adhesive. It's slowly replacing my Tombow Mono. And once I finish with that, that's it. It's really simple. And I hope this technique, you give it a go. I'd love to see you tag Catherine Pooler or Joe Herbert um, and to see the creations you've made using this technique. Thanks for watching everyone. And I look forward to reading your comments. See you later.